something very serious is happening and too many of us just aren't taking it seriously. I'm talking about identity theft. Don't yawn, just give me a few minutes. This is real. Last year it happened to 15 and a half million people. That's almost three times the population of the state of Minnesota. And guess what? It's going to get worse. You and I, we live in a culture of convenience. We can pay for everything we want with no thing at all. And that's all nifty and easy, right? But there is a giant consequence. We like convenience. We are willing, it seems as though, we, even if we don't say it, it seems as though that we're willing to trade security for convenience. And guess who knows it? Every single person who wants to make easy money. They're called criminals. I, I think in general, society hasn't really come to grips with how serious of a matter this is. I already told you it happened to 15.5 million people last year just in this country, and that was a record number. According to Javelin Strategy and Research, account takeover, that's one of the most devastating things that can happen to you in the identity theft arena. That also grew by 36%. So how is this all getting worse? Our reliance on making things easy means we gave out our information, our social security numbers, our full names, our dates of birth. It seems to be getting worse because of the opportunities that exist for bad actors to try to steal identities of unsuspecting victims. All of that information we gave to apply for that credit card or sign a service agreement, use a bill pay, that can be found and breached. There is one hack of our data that experts like Kyle say is going to haunt us for a very, very long time. Unfortunately, we may see um, consequences of this Equifax breach 20, 30 years down the road because none of that, none of that information, uh, what I'm talking about is dates of birth, social security numbers, your true name, none of that information has any expiration dates on it. We simply can't go and change that information. We can't turn back time and go back and get all of our information. We don't have a DeLorean, it's not 1985. So here's what we can do. And yes, I know you've heard it, but please hear it again and do it. You can freeze your credit reports. You don't need them open if you're not making a major, major purchase. Number two, you can check your accounts daily, twice even. And number three, you can sign up for alerts on your phone that tell you every time an ATM withdrawal happens or a purchase was made on the card without you being present. Just think of it as locking your door or putting on your seatbelt. It's basic and smart. Let's all just be basic and smart. You know, when you don't have a magic solution that you can share that like there's a way that this is going to be stopped, it's just not because the internet. Right. It exists. This is the new normal. So you just have to do what you can right. to be proactive, like you said. I mean, when Kyle and I were talking today, it would be the equivalent of me walking into the Minneapolis Police Department and I'm saying, I need you to have zero crimes next year. Right. Well, that's not going to happen. Probably not going to happen. So we but they are doing about, their darndest. They are doing their darndest. I'm to not stop pro- it from happening. <laughs> right. But there's nothing you can do to stop criminals. Right. You can just try and protect yourself. Right. And yes, I know some people have DeLoreans. They do. There are people out there that have DeLoreans. (laughs) Whatever.